Hey guys, welcome back. In this lecture, I will show you how you can access help while you are in the terminal. So there are two options. First is man and second is help. What man does is it takes you to the manual of that particular command and it keeps you within that manual until you press Q. So if I type in man space command name, so ls takes me within the terminal, sorry, within the manual of that command. And it gives me the name of that command, the usage. So I can type in ls, then I can input some options and then I can give it file name and description, which is a long description of what this command does. And then some arguments that I can pass or options I can pass with this command. If I go right at the end, it gives me the exit statuses for this command. So zero is okay. One is minor problems were encountered with the execution of this command. And two is there were serial, serious troubles with this, with the execution of this command. It also gives me some information about the author, reporting bugs and copyright. And to exit, as I mentioned, is Q. Similarly, minus minus help will display the manual and return me back to the prompt. So if I go up, I've got usage, description, and I've got all the options available. Now, if you want to know what commands are available for you, so if you don't know what the command is or what, what command you, you're going to use, what you can do is you can type in help at the terminal and this will give you a list of all the commands that are available for you. So you can look up a command here and then you can go and look at the options available for that command. So I'm going to show you something. So let's pick a command from this. So if we pick echo and I've chosen this because this is special. So if I pick echo, and I type in minus minus help. Let's see what it does. It's just printed out minus minus help here. So minus min minus help is useless for echo. But if I type in any other command, so if I type in time and then minus minus help, it gives me the time it took to execute that command. So you don't have minus minus help for each available for each of these commands. But what works is man echo. And this will take us to the manual. And we can see that what it does is it echoes the string to the standard output. Right? So if we get out, this is what happened. So we echoed it with minus minus help and it just displayed that to the standard output. So let's have a look at man on time. So it runs the program and summarizes system resource usage. And that's what it did. So it tried to run the command name minus minus help, couldn't find it. And it gave us the time it took to uh, come up with this error. So now you know manual can be can come in handy in some cases. Minus minus help can come in handy in other cases. Now, another thing I want to show you is if I type in help and go right up, I get the version of the bash and tells me I can use info bash to find out more about the shell in general. So let's do that. So if we type in info bash, it gives me information on the shell itself. So I've got the name synopsis. So bash options command string file and gives me some description of the bash some options i can use with the bash command itself so i can do things like debugger i can dump strings etc and i'll get out of this type in help again go up and i can type in min minus k or info to find more about commands not in this list. So let's do that. So let's type in info and hit enter. 
and this takes us to a man page which has more commands like we can type in we have editors like nano and other commands so we'll quit out of this now the last thing I want to show you in this lecture is if you're working and you've got a lot of stuff on your screen and you want to clear your screen and go back to a prompt you can type in clear and hit enter and it clears everything from your screen with this we are at the end of this lecture thank you for watching and i will see you in the next lecture bye